on the Bobby Bones Show now. Lee Nash. I'm so excited that you came in, Lee. Thank you. Because I tell you what happened. I was on, I guess it was around Christmas time, and I saw you with a friend of mine, Leslie Fram from CMT, just in a picture. And I said, Lee Nash lives in Nashville? That's that's how I even knew you lived here. Aw, oh, thanks. And so I, I immediately texted my producer. I was like, see if you can find her because I was such a big fan of Sixpence and on the Richer back in the day. Thank you. And I want to know what she's up to. And then here you are today. So we're, we're yeah. very excited about this today. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And I didn't, I'd never met you until today. And I thought, will she even want to come on the show? She would. She would. Yes, <laughs> yeah. she would. That's great. Yeah. Um, yeah. If you don't mind, I, w- I think I would like to just start with a song before we kind of hear what's going on because you have a notebook in your hand with a lot of words on it. Yeah, I r- I writ- I've written it in crayon because uh, I like to do arty things. This is not artful at all. You can't even read it. But the Bobby Bone Show is not where you want to come on and have like a brain fart. So <laughs> I'm going to know these words. But this is a song that you've probably done 10,000 times, a right? A million times, yeah. yeah. But I just did it for New Year's Eve in Washington, and the crowd was singing so loud that they made me forget the words. So I'm not doing that again. I have a panic of forgetting things. So... Uh, that's not going to happen today. How cool is it to have a song, though, that everybody knows every word to? I mean, it gave me chills on New Year's Eve. There were like 4,000 people, and I expected everybody to be, you know, drunk and hanging from the rafters. It was at the 930 Club at the Anthem. So it's a huge venue. And, I mean, everybody was present, and they were freaking out. I was like a surprise guest, which was an honor. And... I came out there and they knew every word. I mean, it's 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 such a thrill and, and yeah, it's very humbling. So Lee has new music um, that will come out February fourteenth. Is that that's right, right? That's right. Um, and so we'll talk about that coming up in a second. Now, do you mind being called Lee Nash from Sixpence on the Richer, or what's the relationship like there? Is that cool? Yeah. Okay. I don't mind one bit because. So many people, I mean, that's how people identify uh, me. But I was thrilled that night, the other uh, New Year's Eve night, the girl first said Lee Nash and people were excited. So I think a a page is turning, maybe. (laughs) She didn't say of Sixpence None the Richer. And then she said it and they did get more excited. But no, I'm thrilled. I'm proud of my history. And I hope we do more music in the future. And I just like to... I am blessed with a voice and I love to write songs. And so whether it's with Sixpence or solo stuff, I want to do it all as long as God lets me. So so I'm happy to be called whatever you want me call, want to call me. <laughs> Lee Nash is here. She's going to do a song that just, it was, was really one of those songs that when I hear, I know exactly where I was in my life. Because there are certain songs that get played so much and are such a part of pop culture MTV, VH1, radio, movie, you're just in everything. And like when I hear this song, Kiss Me, I'm like, I know exactly where I was. And so I'm so excited. Uh, Lee Nash is here and she's going to do Kiss Me right now. All right, let's do it. Thank you. Kiss me out of the bearded barley. Nightly beside the green, green grass, swing, swing, swing the spinning step. You wear their shoes, and I will wear that dress. So kiss me beneath the milky twilight. Lead me out on the moonlit floor. Lift your open hand, strike up the band, and make the fireflies dance. Silver moon sparkling. So kiss me. Kiss me down by the broken tree. I'll swing me up on a tanging tire. Bring, bring, bring your flowered hat. We'll take the trail mark on your father's map. Oh, kiss me beneath the milky twilight. Lead me out on the moonlit floor. Lift your open hand. Strike up the band and make the fireflies dance. Silver moon sparkling. 
So kiss me, lie, 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 So kiss me Now kiss me Good. Wow. Come on. Yeah. We love it. Love it. We love it. Thank you. Woo. That's so good. Lee Nash is here. And uh, by the way, follow her on Instagram. Uh, Lee Bird Nash. L E I G H Bird Nash. What's up with Bird? Everybody calls me Bird. I don't know why. Lee Bird. They call you Lee Bird or just Bird? Both. Bird, yeah. And well, yeah, maybe. I think your husband's playing guitar for you, too. Yeah. This is Steven. Steven. Steven, thanks for coming in, man. Appreciate yeah. that. Uh, Will you ever go? What's What's interesting to me is, will you ever go somewhere and they they're like, yeah, Lee plays music, and then you play that song, and they're like, oh, that's cool, you're covering a song from Six Minutes on the Richer, yeah. and you're like, no, I I am Six Minutes on no, the Richer. Oh, it's shocking. I I did some shows with Toe the Wet's Brett Sprocket last year, and I went out to sell merch afterwards, and this older man came out, and he came, he was like, okay, so I know one thing about you, you love Six Minutes on the Richer. <laughs> I was like, I mean, have I changed that much? Like, I still I feel like me. And he is super embarrassed. And I was like, you don't have to be embarrassed exactly. But, I mean, <laughs> I said, Just a little like, bit. Just a little you bit have a phone? You know how Google works? Like, oh, oh, this sounds like her. But whatever. It's fine. We're friends now, I guess. So. What was it like to, and, and again, seemingly to me, it was like, boom, you're famous. Did it feel like that to you whenever the, the song hit? Not at all. We were traveling so much, like crazy travel, because radio would have us go from, uh, I remember one particular instance that we were in New York playing like a big, huge ra uh, radio show, and then we had to fly to Rome the next day and then come right back to New York for another radio station because there was politics involved and they were threatening to you know, pull the song or whatever. And so we were doing, we were, you know, chasing radio and our, our label, I mean, they were fantastic. We had a great team around us. So it wasn't so much the band was chasing radio, but the people that were working with us were like, no, you're going to be here, here and here. And, and we were always safe. We were best friends. I mean, they're like brothers to me. We had a good time, but it was almost no time to feel like, oh, you know, people know who I am, except the day after we played Letterman in the airport, I was I, I was recognized quite a bit. I am such a David Letterman fan. That's my hero. Letter, Letterman is my hero. Me too. And when you did Letterman, you played, and you can tell me if I'm wrong, but then the rare thing was he called you over to be interviewed after your performance. Right. And to sit in the chair, after you go on as a musical guest, which I have a lot of friends who've done the music part, and they rarely even get to meet Dave. Like, right. he comes over and shakes their hand and is like, the theater's cold, good night, everybody. Yeah. But you get to go sit down and talk. How was that? I was so, I'm, I'm in love, uh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I've, I've always had, like, this massive crush on David Letterman and um, being the, I mean, I'm much younger than him. But, yeah, I think it was a little mutual for that evening. He liked me, too. And also, I think it was, it was just... Um, something in the air, you know, maybe it was God. I said a prayer right before I went out that whatever 
was, you know, in the cards, whatever was supposed to happen would happen. And the moment I walked out, there was a change in the air. And he looked at me and he was like, I want to talk to you afterwards. So I had to do that performance knowing I was going to have to go sit on the chair. And I acted, I watch it and I cringe now because I was so nervous. Um, I wish I could have had a little bit more composure, but I, I did all right. And, um, and it was so wonderful. He was very, very kind to me. Lee Nash is here, which, by the way, she has a couple of dates that you can check out uh, in Chesterfield, Missouri on Friday, January 10th, and on Sunday, January 12th in Des Moines, Iowa. So uh, go see her. She's got new music. Um, is there anything new that's out? I know the EP and stuff's coming out February 14th, but is there anything out now that people can hear, like the, the Lee Nash, not from Six Men's on the Richard? Oh, yeah. If you go to Spotify or anywhere you listen to music, there's a, there's a ton of stuff you can listen to. I've got a bunch of... Christmas music. I've released several singles in the last few months, and um, and I I believe in all of them. I think they're beautiful. So yeah, just look for Lee Nash on any of those platforms, and you can find a, a wealth of of new music. Wouldn't it be lovely if you said, you know, I don't believe in them, but they're there. Yeah. <laughs> you know, what I mean, they're, yeah. they're they're fine. Just, I'm just not really out. behind it, but you might be. <laughs> you guys got nominated. Uh, for Grammys, yeah. And whenever you're a new artist, who do they sit? Who who do they sit you beside at the Grammys back then? Do you remember? Oh, we were way back. No one. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't see any anybody of note. <laughs> we were sitting in the back because I forget what we were up for. Best song. pop performance by a duo. Yeah, but we were up in the me. we were up in the balcony, and I wonder if they kind of know if you're going to win, and so they'd, they'd put you... Cl- I don't know how that works. They'd put you closer if you were going to win. Um, but that was that was really excited. I get to meet all kinds of people on the red carpet. Who was the coolest person from back in the day that you got to meet? Bono. Oh, really? Yeah. What was it, that like? Well, he was here in Nashville giving a little talk of, to maybe 150 people, and I'm not kidding you because there's, there's, like, pictures of it, and there were people that remember it. But um, I was just sitting there <laughs> listening to him give this brilliant talk. And on his way out, I'm not kidding, he stopped at my chair and he kind of leaned down and he kissed my hand and he said, I'm a fan. And I was like, uh, I mean, I, I had a glove on. I was so ticked off that I didn't feel like flesh <laughs> lip, on lip flesh. Skin. Yeah. <laughs> um, but that was really, really cool. And then he just walked right out, got in his van and left. And I was like... That is, man, that's some serious cred I just got. So I carry that with me. I wrote it down, sleep on it under my pillow every night. I, I want to shout out to your no, sister too, by the way. Oh, please do. Yes. Because uh, she's a listener of the show. Yes. We are very much a Texas, Austin, te- Central Texas group. Yeah. Um, you know, we came from Central Texas to, to Nashville and she still lives there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. She's Austinite forever. Yeah, Molly. Molly. Hey, Molly. What, uh, we were talking <laughs> to Lee up. before Lee came on the air, and she was like, Molly was listening. So, Molly, we we thank you for listening. And- You're probably cleaning the house while you listen to this. <laughs> 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 Apparently, you, Lee, you like to vacuum a lot. Yeah, she does. Yeah. <laughs> for like the last five years or so of the show, maybe even longer than that, we have these songs that we play when we win a game. And right. Amy's song, when she wins a game, is... I'll sing your part. When she wins, it goes, there she goes. Very good. Which there is, she goes. I think that's you. the right key, too. It's kind of the right key. Yeah. Yeah. It's, you hear it a lot. Yeah. And so, um, <laughs> which, by the way, I am an alternative nerd, too. And I remember the, the laws. Yeah. Like, and so that, that was a cover song, though, huh? Oh, they were the greatest. Yeah, it was a cover. And it was funny. You know, that was back in 91 or something when they released that. And then we started... To cover it just at live shows, we had no intention of recording it. But it was funny, all the way in 1997, the crowds that we were playing for um, knew the clapping. They still remembered it. So that song, that song had really had a lot of legs. And we ended up hanging out with Lee Mavers, the singer for The Laws, for like 24 hours one night in London. And it was freaking awesome. I wonder if he <laughs> and they, whoever wrote that song, made more money with you guys covering it. Yeah. And it bursting the pop bubble than when they actually did it and it was kind of an underground pop song. Do you think that that was the case? Yes, he definitely made more money. That's why he partied with us for 24 <laughs> hours. <laughs> Do you still play that song? Do you guys play There She Goes? Yeah. Can you play, can you, would you mind playing a little bit of that? No, we're, we're such yeah, nerds. well, do you have a favorite portion? We'll just do like the first Just verse. Can, can, can you do verse and chorus? Yeah, that's yeah, it? yeah. Okay. Yeah. This feeling that 
Nice. I love that. Yes. I love that. That's so good. You know what that reminds me of? And it just, it these triggers memories. Was that She's All That? The movie when she walks down the stairs? Kiss Me. Oh, is that what it Kiss was? Kiss Me was, yeah. yeah. Mm. There but, she goes. It was in movies. Was that in a movie too? But not in that movie. Sister, <laughs> sister Trap? Oh, my favorite oh, of all the traps. I trap. think it was that one. The Parent Trap. Parent Trap. Yeah, yeah, that's I it. That's you're it. right. Yeah. With uh, the girl, the. Lindsay Lohan? Lindsay, Lindsay Lohan, Lohan, yes. Yeah. That was a big scene, though. For I guess it was Kiss Me. That was, it a, was. that was a massive scene in that movie. It was. I just played up in the Northeast at these wonderful, like my favorite new people in the world. They're the they're called the Canaans. There's like 12 siblings or something, but they're filmmakers. And we met at an airport, and they had me come up and do a house show in this like pub-like basement that they've made but anyway one of their friends she was a little she was a little tipsy but during kiss me she went up on top of the stairs that the audience can see and totally did the fall like her <laughs> executed it beautifully and they filmed it and uh it's my new favorite thing That's yeah so fun brilliant uh, right now lee nash is here check out her music and she has a, a record coming out on is it Valentine's Day? February 4th Valentine's Day, huh? That's right. Is it a the song that you're going to play the, the the new song is this a love song or how did this song come about? I mean, it's not no, it's not traditionally a love song. It's called um what is it called? It's not no, It's called God, God Gave Me Horses. God, <laughs> God Gave Me Horses. <laughs> and uh no, this song uh do you know there's an agricultural agriculture center here in Nashville where the police, the mounted patrol train their horses. And my best friend took me out there one day and we were just watching these beautiful horses and I've gotten to know each horse cuz they're um they get lonely in there at night and you can go in there and visit them and nobody knows. I don't think it's legal. But um <laughs> this was during the day and there were, you know, there's cops kind of walking around and um this guy came out of the barn and it was winter time so he had a coat on so we couldn't tell what he was wearing underneath but that sounds weird but <laughs> he came over and started talking to us and then and as he spoke i realized that he is a prisoner and so they just let him come on you know i guess good behavior and work with the horses and so he was really vulnerable and great about the story and i walked away like oh my gosh that's such a great song that he just gave me and he hasn't been been able to hear the song yet he's still incarcerated to my knowledge but his name is Dwayne and I can't wait for him to hear the song because it's touched so many people so far just at live shows you know people come up crying like oh my gosh my you know people that can relate to it um and I'm all about you know rehabilitating people that messed up so um anyway this song is for Dwayne all right here we got Lee Nash doing God Gave Me Horses Ashamed of what I was 
When he visits me on Sundays now He's proud to call me son Sometimes you don't know what you need Until you get it I didn't know what to ask for So I did it I'd just brush him and I'd feed him And the holes in my arms started healing Oh, it's like they knew what I was feeling State gave me 18 months God gave me horses well, I've driven by a million times But I stopped today And I leaned against that fence To clear my head When a stranger in his prison blues Handed me the reins Somehow I felt freer when I left Sometimes you don't know what you need Until you get it I didn't know what to ask for So I did Them and I'd feed them And the holes in my arms started healing Oh, it's like they knew what I was feeling The state gave me 18 months But God gave me horses God gave me horses. Come on. Oh, wow. Man. Look at that. <laughs> man, you're so good. You're <laughs> Thank so you. good. Thank wow. you wow. so much. Wow. Uh, that is Lee Nash. And uh, go support her music. Check it out. She's doing live shows, too, in Chesterfield, Missouri and Des Moines, Iowa. And then um, you have more music coming out on February 14th. Yes. So, and today is, let me say this, your son's birthday? That's right, 16th birthday. How's that working for you? Oh my gosh. Well, he's wonderful. I've just, I have one, so I think I uh, have it easier maybe um, than somebody that has like a bunch of kids. And uh, he's a wonderful boy. He plays hockey. He uh, is learning to speak Russian. And um, Russian? He's a really awesome kid. Wow. Yeah. Why Russian? Uh, I don't know. What's interesting is both of my uncles, both my mom's brothers were in the CIA and they spoke Russian fluently, but he never really knew them that well. So it seems to be something ingrained. I don't know, but he wants to, you know, help the world with his linguistic skills. Maybe we'll hack them back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah we'll exactly. Their elections. What's up now? Yeah, what's yeah. up now? What's up now, suckers? Yeah, and play hockey in yeah, your face. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and beat them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's not get crazy. Yeah. Let's not get crazy. Uh, Lee Nash, you can follow her on Instagram, Lee Bird Nash. And when your music comes out on February 14th, we'll be happy to talk about it again and let people know it's out there. So I'm so happy you came by. Thank this you. was so, so fun for me personally. Sometimes the great thing about this job is I get to be fans of people and just go... I don't care what we're doing. I just want to bring someone in that I think is fantastic. And, Thank you. and that's what I did today, and I'm so happy you, that, that you came up. Thank you very much. It means a lot to the music world, so thanks for what you do. Amy, would you like to say anything to Lee before she leaves? I still have a lump in my throat from God gave me oh. horses. <laughs> I, I, I don't even know. Like, visions I was having, and it's so crazy that this you sang this song when yesterday I was literally talking to my kids about going out to this farm to look at horses. Yeah. And they I know that they have... <laughs> get emotional okay, but I know they have it. some healing to do they do and yeah. I just keep hearing how horses can be good for that and I feel yeah. like your song just now was affirmation yeah which this, is weird and this might so. be a good place to go that agricultural well, yeah. center yeah. we had a, a like a mutual like a friend that okay. had a farm that was bringing it up but yeah. when you said that I was like oh I had no idea and I was going to google right when you left to look that up because it could be something that could be that's wonderful. Really good, but literally was having that conversation yesterday. That's crazy. Well, that yeah. black and white CD that I gave you has that song on it, so give it to her. Oh. Okay, you can. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I wanted it. All right, Thank Lee Nash, you. everybody, thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you so much. Yeah.